So hello friends, I'm Oom and today we're diving in the fantastic world of Android on x86 hardware or to be specific on normal PCs. And today here we have the latest version or the updated version of Bliss OS 16 beta. And I must say, maybe in the near future, we might use Android for most of the professional work on even PCs. And today we're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you how I use Bliss OS for my day-to-day -day work as well as content creation and professional work. And how can you do the same in your PC? So let's get started, shall we? Now let me clear the most basic thing. What is Bliss OS in person? So Bliss OS is a project which delivers Android x86 on Intel or AMD hardware, or to be specific, porting Android operating system to PCs and optimizing the gap between touchscreen devices and mouse and keyboard. And the hardware requirements are pretty nice. You just need 2 or 4 gigs of RAM and 20 gigs of storage, that's it. And not to forget, your 10 years old PC is actually faster and better than a mid-range phone running Android. So don't worry if you think that Android might not work on it, cause it just works. So here we have the beautiful Bliss OS Android desktop. Now this is using Android 13 and the desktop is pretty nice. It is pixel experience I believe and here we have Google Feeds, nice. And clicking on widgets directly opens the proper application and the control panel seems pretty responsive. Better than Windows for sure. Now let's test this operating system on the basis of professional work or in my case content creation. Now. I would start with video editing but in this case I'm gonna go with photo editing first. So I use Photoshop Touch, a modded version of an old application which was made by Adobe and discontinued later. But yes, this does work pretty nice. Let's see, here we have. Now I must say, things work pretty nice here. Mouse and keyboard shortcuts are working pretty well. This is definitely not equivalent to our beloved real complete photoshop of pc but this gets the work done it has most of the usual stuff like stylization filters effects and all that stuff it also has curves which are really used like really just increasing a little contrast makes it so beautiful and then we have other features for like crop image size fill stroke gradients and multiple layer support not to forget but in my opinion if you want to do some photo editing on it, then just go for Canva. Let me show you why. So here we have Canva. Now the reason I'm telling you it is because first, it's a web-based application. So you don't have to worry about your performance and it uses desktop mode. So yay. Just take this for example. My previous two videos and the thumbnails were edited on Canva. Let it get loaded first. There we have it. And there as you can see. Everything is working pretty nicely and it definitely has a lot of amazing features and not to forget AI features for sure. Like they have this upscaling feature with which we can upscale literally blurry images into high definition or maybe 8K images just like this one. And then they have magic media, you know, text to image generator. And then they have the most amazing things which I use personally and that is mockups. You know, you might wonder, how do I put the screenshots into the computer screens of my thumbnails? Well, that's how. I just use mockups. But the internet isn't working pretty well, so I cannot show you properly. Yeah, so let's leave it for sure. Clear all. And here we are. Now, let me show you content creation. Now, there are a lot of options, but in my opinion, the best ones are vlog, now video editor. Or if you're professional, then go for note video editor. Let me just choose this one. There it is. Now the reason I choose vlog now is well the audio editing feature. We can cut we can do cuts and other things based on just the audio track timeline and that feature is not available in most of the Android based video editors. And yeah, not to forget these amazing filters and LUTs and a high precise color correction. Like really, I can just do this stuff. This is literally amazing. Like really, sharpness, highlights, vibrance, all the stuff. And then we have LUTs over it. Look at that. That's the reason I chose vlog now and I have edited most of my videos in this application. But now, I, but these days I'm editing on DaVinci Resolve and the learning curve is literally very hard. 
but yeah i'll manage and yeah if we are talking about professional work then how can you forget discord and yes if you have not joined our discord channel yet then the link is in the description now a lot of people were asking me about key mappers or how can you play games on you know an android operating system with keyboard and mouse well the answer is pretty simple because a lot of games of google play store actually support keyboard and mouse just take asphalt for example all the version of asphalt support keyboard and mouse controls but i cannot show you that right now because internet you know so let me show you the availability of applications now you might be wondering how can i get battleground mobile india here because in most of the android x86 hardwares bgmi is not even available you need an ARM chipset for it. Well, there are a lot of tweaks and settings you can do or just install the global version of, you know, PUBG. And then we have my favorite note-taking app. What was it named? Pockets, maybe. Let me just show you. This looks pretty nice. Let me add label system. Then another one, Linux. Um, and now I can just start editing like what hello control and that is pretty much it that's my workflow on bliss os and everything works pretty fine in my opinion yep everything does works pretty fine youtube playback is pretty okay let me just no i'm not gonna play anything because copyright content you know i don't want to get a copyright on it especially now so yeah everything is working pretty much pretty well and i've not seen a single error or glitch till now Till today, since I've installed this application or this, what do we call it? Operating system. Now the experience might vary from person to person and hardware to hype hardware, but even in beta channel, BlissOS 16.9 is pretty great. Well, I believe that is for today. Well, I believe that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for daily news of awesomeness content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Moon signing out.